Hi, I'm your kid critic, Jack Mooney, and in this video, I will be doing my Oscar predictions. Tomorrow is the big night, and that ends off the awards show season. So, here's my predictions. <clears throat> For writing original screenplay, the nominees are American Hustle, Blue Jasmine, Dallas Buyers Club, her and Nebraska. Um, I think her is gonna take it, but American Hustle might take it. <clears throat> Writing adapted screenplay: Before Midnight, Captain Phillips, Philomena, Twelve Years a Slave, and The Wolf of Wall Street. I think Captain Phillips is gonna take it because it won the WGA, but um, John Ridley could take it too. Visual Effects, Gravity, The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smog, Iron Man 3, The Lone Ranger, and Star Trek Into Darkness. Gravity is in a win and there's no competition here. Sound Mixing, Captain Phillips, Gravity, The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smog, Inside Lewin Davis, and Lone Survival for Gravity is going to take it. Um, Captain Phillips might, but I think Gravity is going to take it. Um, sound editing, All is Lost, Captain Phillips, Gravity, The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smog, and Lone Survivor. I think Gravity is going to take it. Um, Captain Phillips might take it, but I think, once again, I think Gravity is going to take it. Um, short film, live action, uh oh. Aquel, No Era, Yo, That Wasn't Me. Avant Que de Trout Pedair, just before losing everything. Helium, oh my gosh. Pedaco, Moon Kaiki, Huaitita, do I have to take care of everything? And the Vorman Problem, I think the Vorman Problem will win because it has Martin Freeman in it and has famous people in it. Um, short film animated, Pharrell, Get a Horse, Mr. Hublot, Possessions, and Room on the Broom. I think Get a Horse is going to win because it's before Frozen and everybody loved Frozen. And it's a wonderful short film using the new animation and old animation. So, yeah. Production design, American also. Gravity, The Great Gatsby, Her, and Twelve Years a Slave. I think Gatsby is going to win. It has no competition, too. Um, music, original song. Alone Yet Not Alone. Happy. Let It Go, The Moon Song, and Ordinary Love. I think Let It Go is the one, and its competition is Ordinary Love. Um, but I think Let It Go is the one. Music, Original Score, John Williams, The Book Thief, Stephen Price, Gravity, William Butler, and Owen Pellet, Her, Alexandre Desplat, Philomena, Thomas Newman, Saving Mr. Banks. I think John Williams from The Book Thief is the one, because he's a really, um, well-respected um, composer. I don't think he's ever won an Oscar, though. But John Williams' competition is Stephen Price. That's a toughie there. So I'm really hoping John Williams won, because the score in the book thief was awesome and beautiful. Makeup and hairstyling, Dallas Buyers Club, Jackass Presents Bad Grandpa, and The Lone Ranger. Jeez Louise, um, Dallas Buyers Club is definitely going to win this. <coughs> um... Foreign language film, The Broken Cir Circle Breakdown, Belgium, The Great Beauty, Italy, The Hunt, Denmark, The Missing Picture, Cambodia, and Omar, Palestine, The Great Beauty is gonna win, um, it's been winning everything, and I don't think it has any competition. Film editing, American Hustle, Captain Phillips, Dallas Buyers Club, Gravity, 12 Years a Slave, um, usually who wins Editing and directing wins Best Picture. So, I think, um, um, I think Gravity is going to win editing here, and it's competition. People are saying it's Captain Phillips, but I would say 12 Years of Slate is its competition. Um, documentary short subject, Cave Digger, Facing Fear, Karma Has No Walls, The Lady in Number 6, Music Saved My Life, Prison Terminal, The Last Day of the Private Jack Hall, Lady in Number 6, Music Saved My Life. I just guessed there. 
documentary feature, The Act of Killing, Cutie and the Boxer, Dirty War is the Square, and 20 Feet from Stardom. I think The Act of Killing is in one, but 20 Feet from Stardom might sneak up there and win. Directing, um, David O. Russell, American Hustle, Alfonso Cuaron, Gravity, Alexander Payne, Nebraska, Steve McQueen, 12 Years a Slave, or Martin Scorsese, The Wolf of Wall Street, I think Alfonso Cuaron from Gravity is going to take this award. Um, he has no competition either. Um, Steve McQueen might win it, but Steve McQueen has not won anything yet. Um, so, costume design, American Hustle, The Grand Master, The Great Gatsby, The Invisible Woman, and Twelve Years a Slave. I think Gatsby's going to win again. Um, its competition is The Invisible Woman, because that is a period piece, but I think Gatsby's going to win. Cinematography, The Grand Master, Gravity, Inside Lewin Davis, Nebraska, and Prisoners. I think Gravity is going to win by far, but um, its only competition is Prisoners, because Roger A. D Roger A. Deaker Deacons, sorry, um, did it, and he's very um, famous for cinematography, so that's why I think it's that, the competition there. But Gravity is definitely the win. Um, animated feature film, The Croods, Despicable Me 2, Ernest and Celestine, Frozen, and The Wind Rises. I definitely think um, Frozen's going to take this. It has, um, it's on the competition, The Wind Rises. I'd be really happy to see The Wind Rises take it. But I think Frozen's gonna take it. Um, best actress in a supporting role: Sally Hawkins, Blue Jasmine, Jennifer Lawrence, American Hustle, Lupita Nyong'o, Twelve Years a Slave, Julia Roberts, August Osage County, and June Squibb, Nebraska. It's between Lawrence and Nyong'o, but I think Nyong'o from Twelve Years a Slave is gonna take this. Um, actor in a supporting role: Barkad Abdi, Captain Phillips. Bradley Cooper, American Hustle, Michael Fassbender, 12 Years a Slave, Jonah Hill, The Wolf of Wall Street, and Jared Leto, Dallas Buyers Club. I think Barkad Abdi is actually going to take this. You might be thinking, what? But um, he won the BAFTA, and I was like, I was so happy. I was clapping so hard when um, I found out he won, um, and I was, I like, jumped out of my skin for a minute. So, BAFTA is, is, has Academy voters on it, so I think Barkad is in a win, uh, but Jared Leto is his competition between those two. Actress in a leading role. Amy Adams, American Hustle. Kate Blanchett, Blue Jasmine. Sandra Bullock, Gravity. Judy Dench, Philomena. And Meryl Streep, August, Osage County. Kate Blanchett from Blue Jasmine is definitely in the win. She gave a really great performance in the film that... She was so emotional, and she was just, like, kooky in the film, but I, I like that. She's a very, um, accomplished actress, um, she has no competition, too. Um, best actor in a leading role, Christian Bale, American Hustle, Bruce Dern, Nebraska, Leonardo DiCaprio, The Wolf of Wall Street, Chiwetel Ejiofor, 12 Years a Slave, or Matthew McConaughey, Dallas Buyers Club. Now, there's been a little talk on CNN they showed a little plaque that said Leonardo DiCaprio for The Wolf of Wall Street. Well, technically, when they showed that, voting had st hadn't started yet. So, people think Leonardo is probably going to win, but Matthew McConaughey is going to win, and it's going to surprise those people who thought their biggest fan, Leo, was going to win. But, actually, Leonardo DiCaprio is Matthew McConaughey's competition here, I think. But, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that was real. Leonardo DiCaprio thing. Alright, Best Picture. American Hustle, Captain Phillips, Dallas Buyers Club, Gravity, Her, Nebraska, Philomena, 12 Years a Slave, and The Wolf of Wall Street. Gravity is actually going to win. What? Let's look back. Who's probably going to win directing? Gravity. Who's going to win editing? Gravity. Who's going to win picture? Gravity. Um, I might be wrong there. Um... But its competition is American Hustle and 12 Years a Slave. So those are my predictions for the Oscars. Um, and yeah, post um, under in the comments, say who you think is going to win Best Picture and who do you think is going to win Best Animated Film. Um, 
and if you get those right, I will post the prize. Um, yeah, a prize, snazzy, um, of who got it right. And if I get it right, no prizes. So, yeah, it would be very, um, important for you to get it right so you can get my special prize. Alright, guys, have a great day, and I hope you guys watch the Oscars. And tonight, which is the March 1st, watch the Independent Spirit Awards for those independent movies. Alright, guys, have a great day at the movies.